But also, more importantly, I'd like to thank the team of people from Mental Health America who looked at my nomination and accepted me. Because when I got the notification in July, in early April, I was like, they gotta be joking, this has gotta be a scam. <laughs> but it wasn't, so thank you very much, and I'm here. And just quickly, I'm wearing a Nigerian outfit that was handmade in Nigeria and sent to me by a Nigerian who just looked at my picture and could make this outfit for me. He is in Nigeria. I had some pictures taken. I'm sending them to him because he is a black gay man in Nigeria. And his life is probably very often in danger. When I attempted suicide in 1999, I did not know of anywhere I could turn. And I speak openly about my suicide attempt because in our communities there is a sense that some things we should not talk about. When our community members, our family members and friends take their lives, in very many of our families, we shut that down. We don't talk about it anymore. The trauma and the pain of that pain remains among us and it passes on. Schroeder, in her introduction a moment ago, talked about and referenced Clifford Beers' whole person concept around mental health. Community members, and I want you to notice that I said community members, not ladies and gentlemen, because that is now disrespectful. Community members is more embracing for anyone's sexual orientation and gender identity. So community members, it is important that we, just as much as we can talk about having a headache, a stomach ache, a belly ache, uh, you know, our ankles are hurting, Let's be easily able to talk about our mental health. Let's easily be able to say, I need help. Can you help me, please? I need someone to talk to. And when somebody comes to you and asks to talk to you, please be willing to listen. Please be willing to part your biases. All of you because it's no longer about you, it's about the person who needs you right now. I've started, which Jennifer and I'm sure may not have been able to say, because my bio gets kind of like ridiculously long, I think they made it up. <laughs> but one of the things that I really was intent on doing coming out of my documentary and the organization is that we expanded to creating a mental health conference for LGBTQ plus black and people of color communities. And this year is focused on people with disabilities. We also launched an ancestral institute. Schroeder just talked about the whole person again. The ancestral institute is intended, and I'm sorry, I've got these bright lights on me so I can't see all the black people in the room, but I would ask all the black people in this room to stand. Stand if you can and be recognized. Because I'm going to give you a South African word which some of you may know. Ubuntu. Say it with me, please. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. I am because of you. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. The ancestral issue we are starting, we started already actually, is to reconnect with our ancestors, their rights, their practices, fuse it with contemporary psychology, which is Western oriented and American, and for which many of our black people, we do not know that. We don't recognize it. To fuse the two things to create a mental health that is uniquely for black and people of color. Are you guys with me? Yes. 
So say this word with me again, Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Thank you.